I'm going to show you how to use the deluxe multi-level drag and drop menu builder. But first let's talk about what a drop down or multi-level menu is. Over here on our sample site on the right hand side we have a standard menu. When we click on any of these we go to that page. On the top we have a drop down menu. So we'll go to retail stores we have different states that have retail stores so that we can get that information. Go over here to designers and we have different designers and when we click on a particular designer it'll take us to the page with just their products. So the drop down menu can be useful if you have more buttons that you want to display or categories or subcategories. For example if you have a shopping cart you may want to have these coming down from a drop down menu so they can choose different categories or subcategories for that product. Probably the most difficult thing for the average person to understand is the URL or uniform resource locator. According to Wikipedia, in computing a uniform resource locator or universal resource locator is a specific character string that constitutes a reference to an internet resource. Basically Every page has an address, just like a house has an address, but it's hard for people to really understand those addresses and all the characters and references that are incorporated into those strings. After years of trying to explain this to customers and trying to work with these addresses, we finally come up with a tool that doesn't require you to even know what the things are linked to. To use the Deluxe Drag and Drop Menu Builder, you'll find the Deluxe Drop Down Menu Builder under the Page Properties page. When you click on that, you'll see a very simple interface. On the left hand side, you'll see Pages. You'll also have Categories if you're using the shopping cart. You will have the Categories listed and a Preview. We start with Pages. We've already dragged the Home page over here. I want to drag our Contact page over and we have a browse page for our shopping cart. So we can move the buttons around. Move this one over here. We can stack them up. We want to move. We can insert a new row. Right now we have two rows and you can put your mouse over the button. There's a little create a new row icon in there. And if you click on that it'll create a new row for that button. So you may have to work a little bit to get the button stacked up or in the right direction, but you can drag them around and play with them and see how they work. We have browse which will take us over to our browse page. We also have categories. So if we want to add the categories below that, we can do that. Each time we drag one over it'll create a new row, but you can bring it over and add it to an existing row. So when you bring it over here and then bring it in and add it to that. Bring another one over here, bring it over and add it to that. So now we have some shopping cart categories down below our browse. If you want to add a new button, you can create a new button. Let's create a new button called shopping. When you add a new button, you'll have to edit it. Click on the edit link, put in a button name. In this case, we're adding shopping. We don't want to link the shopping button. We just want to use it as a heading. So we'll save it. And we have now a shopping button probably want the home button up on here so we'll create a new row for shopping and rather than using that we can move these over here on shopping and we don't really want the browse anymore so we're going to hit the recycle button and that'll go back into our pages so now that button is there if we want to bring it back and add it to our menu obviously you're not going to have all your pages on your menu if you want to you can and they'll be in here for you to use. Move contact here. It may be a little hard to get the things the way you want them. It may take a little bit of work, but you can get these things around. So now we have a home, we have a shopping with some subcategories, a contact, and let's say we want to add uh, a calendar over here. Move this over down, we'll have to create a new row, and now we have this, this menu. Before you can save the menu, you need to click on Preview and then set the settings. Right now there's some colors and you'll see that 
it's set as a vertical menu or up and down. You can change it to a horizontal menu, and in that case, the buttons come down from the top. I'm going to go ahead and do vertical. We'll go over shopping. It comes down with the categories. We can change the width of the buttons to whatever we need. We can also change the size of the fonts. If we want to make them bigger or smaller, both on the main level and the sub-level. So if we make the sub-level bigger, you'll see now that these are bigger. You can change the colors, just like the other menu tools. We can change that color, and if we want to change the rollover color to, let's say, white, now you have a different effect. You can add borders. You can change text colors. Now let's say we want to change the border size. Here we can put a border around the outside of it. We can also change the type of border if we want different effects. Dashed, double border. We'll just go with a solid border and make it a little bit thinner. You can change the border size of the sub-level menu, the border color. Obviously the fonts we can change to Verdana. We can change our sub-level to Comic Sans MS, so now we have different things. And you'll have to spend some time going through and changing font padding and the outside spacing between the buttons to get it exactly the size and the shape that you want for your website. When you have what you want, you click on Save Menu, and hopefully out at our website we'll have the menu that we just built. Obviously this isn't right for this website, but the nice thing about this tool is we can go back in at any time and we can edit it. We can add more buttons to it. We can add more to the rows. We can rename them or change the URLs. We can add new buttons and we can edit the style. So if we didn't want this to be a purple main button, we go to the main color and we change it to, let's say we wanted black and white and that would be a little bit nicer. We also have on the website sample we were using horizontal so we'd probably want to use the horizontal menu. You can make a really ugly menu or you can make a really nice menu. It's really up to you but the great thing about this tool is you can go back here and move the buttons around and change them where you want them and create a menu without even knowing what they link to or how they work. So now for the biggest question, what if you made something you don't like? How do you get rid of it? Well, under the Menu Tools section on your Page Properties page, you'll see a Remove CSS menu. Simply go in there and click on Remove, and that will remove the CSS menu and return you back to your regular menu. Under the Advanced Menu Tools, there's also Edit Alternate Menu File, where you can go in here and you can actually edit the file that was created using the menu builder. And most of you probably won't, as you can see, it's a little complicated. But you can also use this tool to use the default menu tools and update, and that'll take you back to your standard menu. So you're never stuck with it, so don't be afraid you're going to mess up your site. This is problematic on older browsers, so if you're using an older browser or an older computer, it uses a lot of system resources. It can lock up your browser. I don't recommend using this unless you have something relatively new, at least XP or newer, and you might have problems with that. If it locks up your computer, your computer probably can't handle it, and you won't be able to use this tool. Unfortunately, we keep adding tools, and the tools keep getting harder and harder on the computers as we want to upgrade these things and give you more opportunities to add things to your websites.